Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody posted this picture on Facebook, wanted to know how you could do this. And I don't know if it's a uh, Corel site, but I don't know if it's uh, if they're going to print it. And so I'm going to show you a way I would do it if I was going to laser engrave this. Basically, it's the word stretched out. So we've got the first text. We need to make a duplicate of it. Control D. And we're just going to move it out of the way. Now the second text, we're going to go ahead and go left click, right click, and make an outline. And I've got it in the center of the page, so I hit P. I'm going to take a two-point line. Well, first of all, we're going to make our outline. And we're going to go to a range. We're going to go to effects and contour. We're going to contour to the outside. Let's go point two in red, just to... Well, that's way too big. I forgot how little this thing was. Tell you what, we're going to make it quite a bit bigger to make it easier. Let's move this out of the way. And we've made this 218 points, so we're going to make this basically the same size. 218, 218 points. And we're going to take this and we're going to contour it now. That's still too much. Uh, point zero one whoop not enough point one I guess there we go actually I need to back up because I think I'd already got the other contour in there and she they actually wanted to say well, I want to be able to do this with any text and this for instance let's look at the picture really good it isn't going to work let's back up a little bit because we actually need to stretch these letters out and we're going to take the shape tool it's still a still a font so we're going to stretch them out and we're going to make this thing it's 13 let's make it make it 13.25 inches so we're going to take this one and make it 13.25 so we got the same well it's not as let's narrow it down a little bit that doesn't really matter now we're going to take this and we're going to contour it and what that did it gave us a um, line between the lines tell you what we're going to make the contour a little bit bigger now point zero or point two too much back up 0.15 that'll be good enough now we're going to go up to arrange break contour apart and we've got the one layer we don't need the contour anymore we're going to go down here to our line and we're going to make it in black and we're going to make it uh, let's say eight points, maybe six points, and we want to scale with object. Now we're going to take our inside line, same thing, make it something other than the hairline. I think we made it six points, and that's a little good deal here. If it's not written down there, you can just type in. So now we have an outline around that font. Now there's a little bit of problem with the dot and the P, and, but you can get rid of that later, break the curve apart, hit that dot, maybe take out that D, take that little dash out of that S. I think everything else looks good. Now we're going to convert this to a curve. Convert it to a curve. I'm going to hit P. Let's group it together. Control G. I'm going to hit P and put it in the center of the page. Now I'm going to take a two-point line, holding down the control button, and make it parallel. Now here's what you need to do is take control D and make a duplicate of the same. And we want to nudge now. Doesn't really matter. Let's nudge it five inches. So we've got two copies. Now take your virtual statement delete key. And swipe through there.
get all the letters and take this bottom one and nudge it up. Now nudge this back up and now we're going to take away the bottom. No, we took, yeah, now we need to take away the bottom. So just take your virtual same and delete key and delete that. Hit that line right there. That looks pretty good. Take our line away. And let's nudge this thing down. Now it's too far away. And I really need to go to the picture to see what it looks like. See, there's just a little bit of space between the letters. So what we're going to do is we're going to nudge this one up. And we're going to take our other font and hit P. Now you can with the control button, you need to start moving before you put down the control button. And our fonts aren't exactly the same. So grab it all, start moving, and then hold down the control button. And that would be that, you know, our, our middle font isn't exactly what you can do. This is 13.5194. Tell you what, let's make it 13.5. Let's make this one 13.5. And then you can make this one 13.5. And then you can you can change the the uh, thickness between the fonts. You know, just by moving it down a little bit. So start moving and then hold down the control button. If you if you don't if you start moving the control button first, uh, it'll start breaking it apart. Now let's just see what this looks like with yellow behind it. And there you go. That went in gray. And if it's a sublimation and you want white behind it, uh, there's other ways around that. You know, if you want. Um, Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit, and thank you for watching.